I'm Nanaku Iku Okai Mentor from the class of 2023 and I'm majoring in electrical and electronics engineering. For my final year project, I worked on the design and implementation of the flywheel battery energy storage system. The flywheel is a rotating disc that spins at high speeds to store up energy. I got this idea from a class where we learned about renewable energy storage systems and how power systems all over the world are moving towards cleaner and renewable ways of producing power. However, there's a catch. When it comes to renewable energy sources, their power generation is inconsistent. Hence, there's a need to store their energy and supply it at a time when it's needed. The flywheel and the battery energy storage systems are popular when it comes to renewable energy sources because the battery is able to store energy and supply it over a long period of time. However, it has a shorter lifespan, but with the flywheel, it's able to store up energy and supply it for just a short period of time. However, it has a long lifespan. For the flywheel energy system to work, it needs three things. It needs the suspension system to keep the system running, it needs the motor generator unit to charge and discharge the flywheel and it needs the bi-directional power converter to control the power flow in and out of the flywheel. So in designing the flywheel energy storage system, there are several design considerations. There's that which has the shaft of the flywheel surrounded by magnets to reduce the friction on it. And there's that which has the shaft of the flywheel coupled to a motor. And with my design, it has the pulley system which increases the speed during the discharge of power from the flywheel. I wanted to gain an energy output of 80 watt hour. Therefore, using the motor generator's rating, I was able to get the energy stored in the flywheel and also getting the parameters surrounding the flywheel, such as its diameter, the shaft's length, and the bearings that can be used. Finding the right materials for the project was difficult. However, once I found the right components for the project, I realized it was more mechanical than electrical. So I had to learn a lot of mechanical concepts to be able to complete this project.